All right, this morning we're working on a uh, Whirlpool commercial coin-op machine. And there is our model number, CAE2745FQ0. And first thing we're gonna do on this one is we're gonna get it into a diagnostics mode. So it's pretty simple. Always start it from the 12 o'clock position and you're gonna go one, one, two, one, two. And you'll see all the lights come on. So you're now actually in the diagnostics mode. Now, I like to put a piece of tape that says one, two, four, eight, just cause I'm old and it helps me keep up with it a lot faster. But to toggle between the various pieces here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back one, back forward. Okay, so back one, back forward. And as you can see, it moves us to the various diagnostics modes. Just like that. That's how you move it. Just keep going. It's just kind of a toggle. So it's 12 o'clock back over to one, 12 o'clock back over to one, 12 o'clock back over to one, like that. And that's how you get into all the diagnostics. Right there, all right. So now, next thing we're gonna do is a bunch of tests. Okay, now that we're in test mode, you know, what we're gonna do on this washing machine is we're trying to figure out what's wrong with it because the customer just said that there was something wrong. They didn't know what. Now, prior to me doing all this, I found a water leak in the back, and it was just where they had uh, had a hose that was not connected the way it should have been. Anyhow, what I would like to do now is go ahead and do what's called a quick overview test mode. And what that does is it basically runs the functions of the machine to see if it works. So here's how we get into it. The, the function that makes that work you have to go to the final spin light is on. So let's toggle. There's done, that would be arrow mode. And this is the quick test mode. And quick test mode, what's gonna happen, we're gonna push the button to start it. And when we push the button to start, there's an order to which it's gonna run these tests. And I have those tests brought up on my tablet. So we'll kinda listen to it as it goes and watch the tablet. So here we go. First thing it's gonna do is lock the lid and then try to put some water in. Okay, so it locked the lid, and you can probably hear it putting the water in. So this is what it's trying to do right here. Now it's going to run that water in for probably 60 seconds, I think is what it says out for the end there. So the estimated time is 60 seconds. And then it's going to come back and it's going to run the hot water valve on for 10 and then uh, business will pick up. It'll actually move the shifters around and do some other stuff. But I'm just kind of showing you this uh, kind of in real time. So uh, you'll see about how long this takes. It's not a long procedure, but it does take a minute or two for it to, to do its thing. So. So right now the hot water valve is just activated. It'll do that for 10 seconds. So now it's pausing. It's moving the shifter around because light number four is on. And then it's gonna put it in agitate. And I'm sorry, this is a cell phone video. This is about as good as my video gets, so. Uh, maybe it'll help you though. So now it's moved it, it's agitating. Now according to the light pattern, we're in a drain mode. So it's running the drain pumps. We should see the drains move. Let me see if I can back this thing up a little bit. We well, should hear the drain moving that water out. Then it's gonna shift and spin. So, again, this is pretty straightforward testing, but this is a commercial machine. It's coin op, um, so it's a little different than other models. All right, so now it's got those lights on, the shifter's moving it, and as soon as it does, it's gonna spin it up, and I wanna say it spins it up to about 500 RPM. Uh, it'll turn the pump on, then it'll spin up. You can hear it spinning. It's gonna spin for about 10 seconds, kick off, which is just done. 
and now it will remain locked and closed until the basket completely stops running. Uh, you can hear the basket turning and if I'm real quiet you'll be able to hear it clicking as it's Once it stops, it'll unlock the lid and it will come out of that mode and tell us it's done. And that's it, guys. That is diagnostics. That's the quick test. We obviously didn't run into an error code because it didn't stop, didn't pause anywhere. So maybe the water leak was the only issue we had. All right. Appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.